What's up everyone, this is Julius again from Ojas Web Digital Solution. In this video, I want to give you a quick tip on how to conduct keyword research on Google. In many situations, you might want to do keyword research on Google Keyword Planner and at the end of everything, you realize that Google Keyword Planner is not giving you any data for those particular keywords. So for instance, I have some keywords in my notepad and I want to use this as a demonstration so that you understand exactly what I'm talking about. If I go straight to my Google Ads and I select one of the campaigns, then I go to the ad group, then I go straight to the keyword words in many situations you will realize that google keyword planner will automatically suggest some keyword here so that you can add them to your ad group if i go ahead and type some keyword maybe weight loss so what you will see is google will suggest some keywords by relevance so that i can add it directly to the ad group and by doing so it will make it very easy for me to add keywords to my ad group and this will help me to run my advert very fast but in some other situation you might add the keyword here and you will not get any suggestion from google it doesn't mean that this keyword is not being searched on google it only means that google is not allowing you to see the data on their platform so if i go ahead and type for example cbd oil in this place you will notice google tells me that there is no keyword to show for this particular entry if i go ahead and type another keyword maybe iphone repair you also realize that google is not showing me any result for this particular search if i go ahead and type another keyword maybe vip rear honey you realize that google is not showing me anything for this keyword again let me type one more keyword maybe computer repair so you see google is not giving me any result for all of these four keywords it doesn't mean that people are not searching for all of these keywords on google the only thing is that google is preventing users from conducting keyword research on their platform for some of these keywords if i go straight to the google keyword planner i also conduct this research we will see that google is not giving us the option to conduct research for all of these keywords iPhone repair VIP Royal Honey CPD Oil. I've entered about four different keywords and I want to conduct research to see exactly what I have on this. I leave the location as US and let's see if I'll be able to get some result from this particular keyword. So you notice I'm able to get some result here but i could not find anything related to cbd oil and i could not get anything about computer repair or iphone repair the only result i'm seeing here is vip royal honey however when i search for that same keyword here vip royal honey you notice we are not getting anything so this tells you that there are some keywords that when you try to conduct research on google you might not be getting data for those keywords and it doesn't mean that those keywords are not being searched for but it means that google is not allowing you to see the data now what i do if i encounter any of this situation i have a particular extension on my google chrome and that is what i use to get ideas of what people are searching for if i know my primary keyword so the extension i'm talking about is keywords everywhere if you go to their website keywordseverywhere.com you will see more information about this extension and it's available for google chrome and firefox i already installed it on my google chrome so if i go straight to google and type for example cbd oil i will see if i will be able to get keyword ideas related to this particular search here on the right hand side there are other keywords related to cbd oil People are searching for where to buy CBD oil. What is CBD oil good for? And so on. You can see with the help of keyword everywhere, I will be able to find out what people are searching for on Google. And this is going to help me to get exact data. And I will also be able to see the metrics available for this particular keyword. Now, I have already purchased credit for keyword everywhere extension. Now, if I go ahead and click on load metrics, you have to pay one credit for every keyword you want to see metrics for so i have eight keyword here if i go ahead and click on load metrics then keyword everywhere will remove it from my credit and i think their credit is very cheap so if you want to buy the credit i purchased about 100 000 credits 
which I think is about 10 or 15 dollars. That is very cheap for me if I want to conduct keyword research on Google. Now you can see the average search volume for CBD oil for anxiety. You can see 15,000 and the average CPC is 0.43 dollars. So you can see this is enough for me if I want to use this keyword either for SEO or for advertising on any platform that accepts this kind of advertisement. If I go ahead and type another keyword, maybe iPhone repair then I'll be able to see the result and also I'll be able to use the keyword everywhere to to see the data available for this particular keyword. Now there's another interesting new feature in keyword everywhere trend chart and this shows you exactly the trend history from 2004 up to date. So I can see now we have so many keywords here related to iPhone repair. If I want to search for another keyword maybe computer repair. I will also see exactly what people are searching for with the help of keyword everywhere. The trend for computer repair is declining compared to what we have in 2004. It went up around 2016 and now it goes down back. This is very interesting. With the help of this particular extension, you can get a lot of things done even if Google Keyword Planner is not showing you any data for such keywords. This is going to be very helpful for you if you want to conduct keyword research for some restricted product or services on Google. I'm not advertising keyword everywhere but I'm just sharing this information with you because you might have experienced some difficulty in doing keyword research with the help of Google Keyword Planner. If you love this video feel free to give me a thumb up or subscribe to my channel and I would definitely appreciate it. If you have some questions don't forget to ask in the comment and I will respond to every single question. Thanks again for watching the video and bye for now.